Good afternoon, people. It is Tuesday, and it's time for the Workday Recap. It was another beautiful day today. It's 526, about 77 degrees. Not bad for spring. Uh, didn't have much going on today. Uh, my only call was set for 2 p.m. Uh, it was a McDonald's call up on the northwest side. Uh, McDonald's in the Walmart. Uh, I was sent there to do a circuit change because apparently their DSL circuit was a little bit slow. So they changed to a cellular service for faster speed. Now, to me, that just doesn't really make sense. Somebody talked fancy and sold them on it, but um, cellular service, you're going to have interruption for various atmospheric things. I mean, thunderstorms, that kind of stuff, but whatever. I had to get on the phone with AT&T uh, so we could change the circuit over. I changed the circuit and then we tested and everything was good, so that was good. Uh, while I was up there, something up there was burning. You could see this huge smoke cloud forming. Sorry about the bumps. Um, you could see this huge smoke cloud forming and it's probably like a, a forest wildfire. But driving back, I went through downtown, down 95, and uh, you could just see the smoke plume um, fanning out across the city. Wouldn't be long, I would think, before that would sink and you'd have the smoky smell everywhere. But I don't know. It's kind of interesting how there's always fires here. I mean, with all the rain that we get, eh, well, we get a lot of rain and it's like torrential, but I guess it's, we're still behind on the, the water levels, so who knows. Um, I'm sorry about yesterday's vlog kind of ending short. Uh, I had to do a, that late night call that was for... Harbor Freight. It was for their uh, um, point of sale upgrade. That job, I got there at 4 p.m. Gaines helped me to begin with till about quarter after six. And we had four registers to um, swap out a server and two little handheld scanners doesn't sound like much, but the first thing we had to do when we got there was uh, uh, swap out the server and then call the company we are doing the job for, the Harbor Freight, and uh, have them start configuring it and doing what they needed to do. That whole process of configuring the server for them took over four hours. Um, while that was happening, we were able to start replacing the registers, which were all in one IBM units. And uh, they were heavy, extremely heavy. Definitely took two people to lift out of that box. But uh, got that done. Um, to mount the rack in the server, I had to install rails for it to sit in. And I had to modify those rails. I had to shorten them so they would fit in that rack. And, uh, stupid me. Um, I installed the rails and routed the cables wrong initially when I, uh, turned the server on so they could start doing their configuration. So, I had to wait until they were done late at night, um, with everything all the testing and all that. I had to wait till they were done so we could shut down the server and it turned out we didn't have to shut down the server but um, but unplug the cables so I could reroute them 
to the new location. Once I got the server in there, went to close it, and the bottom of the server was hitting the UPS, so it wouldn't close. So I had to take the server back out, dismount the rails, remount them higher up, and then put the server back in. So that was like a wasted 30 minutes or so, but all in all, the call, I got done with that call at 1.45 a.m. this morning, and then I didn't get home until about 2.15 a.m. It was a long night, so uh, today I got to come in late. Um, I didn't come into work till about 10, and then I had that one call, like I said, at 2 at two this afternoon. But now I'm headed home. Uh, tomorrow I have another Harbor Freight, the second one. Uh, that's going to be another long night, probably. Hopefully not quite as long, because now I know what to expect, what I can do at certain times, um, what I can prep. So uh, hopefully it'll go a lot smoother. I won't be there quite as long, but we'll see. Like I said, oh, I got home last night, and uh, my roommate, he is definitely a character. I got home, and I don't think he was expecting me to walk in then. He was in the kitchen eating something or whatever, and he was like half naked. I didn't say anything to him or anything. I just walked upstairs and um, started relaxing, but ah, the issues of living with a roommate. I mean, you live with somebody else, you don't go walking around like that. No matter what. If you don't expect that person to be home or whatever, you just don't do that. But oh well, I'm not gonna say anything to him. Well, everything's just getting so green. I know I keep showing this, but this is cool. I'm almost home, so I guess I will uh, talk to you guys later. If I don't, I will talk to you tomorrow.